Okay, what's going on? I got a furnace sitting down here and the fan comes on but the heat don't come on. All it does is blow cold air. So I come down here and I'm looking at this furnace and this one's about 20 years old. So where do I go next? Why is this thing doing this? Okay, you take a look at the thermostat. The thermostat, when you look at the fan, it's in the auto position. So it shouldn't be running all the time. It should only run when the furnace is on. So what's going on? Well, here I'm showing a bunch of limit switches. This is an old, old style. This is going to find this furnace built oh, well over 30 years ago. It's a combination fan and limit. There's a little button type limit switch. Here's another one that's got a probe. This one here, of course, has a probe. It fits inside the ductwork. These two are also, these are newer styles that are used in somewhat newer furnaces. And the switch is right there. And it's put in the airflow to sense the temperature of the air passing across it. If the air reaches too high a temperature, it does what we call limit out. Well, how these things work is when that temperature is too high, it shuts off, and it shuts off the gas supply, or with an oil furnace, an oil supply. So it shuts down the heat source. Now, if it cools back down, most of these will turn back on. There are some that you actually have to push a button on because they're called manual reset. But these are all automatic resets. So if the temperature goes down, they'll come back on, usually. Sometimes they uh, go kick off so many times that they'll actually fail. Okay, so why did they kick off? Because you didn't have enough airflow. Most common reason for not enough airflow is a plugged filter. Plugged filters usually are what get these things going. And when you take and put a new filter in, if the limit has not worn out and failed completely, then it'll start working normally. But sometimes that doesn't happen. And what the symptoms of this are is when the furnace comes on, it usually runs about four or five minutes. Sometimes it'll run longer. And then it shuts off. The fan continues to run, but the burner shuts off. So with the burner off, of course, it cools down. And that fan's going to stay on. Now, on most of the newer furnaces, now, if the, of course, if it cools down enough, goes below its uh, reset temperature, then it comes back on and starts working normally. So you may not even notice what's going on for quite a while until it gets really cold. And because it's not... Uh, running all the time it doesn't uh, maintain the temperature so let's say I've gone out there and I replace my filter and it still does it so what else could do it well here's another reason why you may not get enough airflow through that furnace this blower now this is a nice clean blower here but if this thing is filled with dirt and maybe cat or dog hair all over here and these little uh, slots they're all filled up full of dirt it's not going to move very much air so you may actually have to clean that thing so is there anything else that could cause a limit to kick off well there's a few odd things if the furnace was over fired when it was new it can do it there's some ductwork problems that's kind of beyond the scope of this video but I would be looking first plug filter plug blower something like that now I I have videos on you know going farther on some of this stuff and uh, I will have links here at the end of this thing to a couple more videos but mostly what you're going to encounter is plug filters or plug blower wheels. A simple repair, actually cleaning the blower is not quite that simple, but certainly changing the filter is.
that's it on the first things you do if your limit switch kicks off. That's it on this one.